I worked on Remember the Bridge, Poems of a People for 20 years. Uh, kids often ask me how long it takes to write a book, and uh, the shortest amount of time was two weeks off and on. And the longest amount of time was, of course, the two decades that I spent working on Remember the Bridge. Uh, that project started as a graduate school photo essay project. And one of my teachers, um, as he was looking at my portfolio at the end of that semester, said, this should be a book. So I began um, expanding it and submitting the manuscript. Um, I was, and at the time, I was thinking that it would be an adult, an adult publication. Um, got a little interest from one publisher, and of course, that you know that just egged me on. Um, but didn't find a publisher at that time. Um, I resurrected the project after I started writing for children and began shopping it as a children's book manuscript, and did find um, did find a publisher. Uh, but the process, what I did during those 20 years, um, besides raising my kids and uh, working in public relations, was uh, to write more poems for Remember the Bridge um, that focused on um, African American heritage and culture, and also to do picture research, to um, find images to pair with those poems. So I, I went to uh, places like the Library of Congress, um, Moreland Spingarn Research Center, State Archives, in search of photographs. And the more photographs I found, the more poems I ended up writing because I not only found pho photographs to pair with poems, with existing poems, but I found photographs that kind of cried out for words. So I found myself, um, you know, acquiring all these photographs and then writing poems to go with the, with the photographs that had really spoken to my heart.